All right. Up next, we have Token Engineering Commons with Livia. Um, and this is actually where I say goodbye. We have a new MC coming up after uh, after Livia uh, joins. So yeah, take it away. And thank you all so much. Uh, thank you, Livia, for coming on and doing this presentation. Thanks, Hudson. So, so I guess I can start. Okay, so I'm really honored to talk about the token engineering. Um, that is an incredible project, but the best part is the people. So first, I want to talk about the people. People like you and me and every human on this planet who share very similar desires independent on their cultural references or social positions. I might be making a huge assumption based only on my perspectives, but I'll take a crack to say that each one of you listening to me now shares these desires just like I do. You want to feel seen like you exist. You want to feel heard like your opinions and your desires and your dreams matter. You look for a sense of belonging, like having friends and lovers and people that share beliefs and experiences with you. You want to be loved, like being loved like having a warm sense of gratitude for yourself and others. I'm obsessed with the concept of freedom and I think many in the crypto space also. In the Indo-German root, free means to love. It makes sense, both freedom and love are concepts no one can quite explain, yet everyone understands. You might be asking, what the hell does this woo-woo talk has to do with the token engineering comments? So let's start by what is token engineering? an emerging engineering discipline focused on holistic systems design and the theory, practice, and tools used to design and verify tokenized ecosystems, a discipline of responsibility, adhering to the highest principles of ethical conduct. Token engineering is probably the hottest discipline emerging in our cyber physical worlds, and it deserves a robust infrastructure to accelerate its development. That's why the token engineering commons started with a cultural build. But why a cultural build? Because it's a commons. Anything that is collective is talking about culture and culture is interactive. We have been trapped in obsolete systems because of our apparent inability to cooperate with each other. Hence the collective action problems like the tragedy of the commons, the prisoner's dilemma, um, the logic of collective action uh, in the in their legitimacy in the social scientific field promoting the private sector or the state as our only choices to manage public natural and shared resources this is not a particular criticism of those models uh, but the fact that for so long they are predominantly considered the only ones if we were super happy about the centralized management capacities we obviously wouldn't be here that's why we are choosing a third path, neither private nor statal. We are choosing communal ownership and collective management. Why haven't DAO spread like wildfire right now? You probably would have if all we needed for the revolution was a decentralized and automated way of allocating resources. It happens that automated is different from autonomous. The machine is automated, the people are autonomous. The running code might be decentralized, but the people need to be interconnected. Collective intelligence is available. We need to promote means to listen to it by slowly substituting the patterns of our behavior that fed centralized machines to the patterns that will energize the decentralized one. If the community is robust, the tech is robust, the value created will also be robust. So how are we creating and energizing the collaborative processes of the TEC to accelerate sustainable and ethical design of token ecosystems? We are a non-hierarchical and pro-leadership group. Everyone has full agency to step into leadership positions when they see the opportunity. We started with only three working groups. They are the soft governance and culture led by me. So we are studying and implementing Ostrom's eight principles for governing the commons. 
Uh, we recently finished reading her book, which was incredible to offer uh, best practices to how um, how to build um, the how to build self managing um, self managing CPRs, collective pool resources that will work su successfully over over the years. We also have Common Swarm, that is a partnership between OneHive and the Common Stack to deploy the TEC stack. So uh, they are led by Sam and Griff, and they are implementing the Dandelion DAO, the conviction voting and the bonding curve, uh, making the systems robust because they will be the base of our commons. And we also started with the communications working group led by Jess and Marco. Uh, they're taking care of the TEC narrative from content to distribution, our website, the forum, uh, blog posts. And now we also have uh, guest blog posts. So if you have TE content, if you like to write about the comments about token engineering, you can reach out to us and we can give you the space and we also have meme parties to create incredible memes like this one every Friday you can join. So we started with only this three and now we are 10. So what else do we have? We also have Gravity. That is a super important work for the whole DAO ecosystem that is offering accessible conflict management. This is one of Ostrom's principles. Um, to sustain a harmonious uh, community. So this group is led by Juan Carlos, who is um, facilitating this amazing course now that is gravity training. Gravity because it brings people together. So uh, gravity training is happening actually right after this session. So you can uh, jump out of my talk and jump in there. And in the end of the sessions, you can get a po-op and by collecting all of these po-ops, you, uh, you can become a graviton, um, you can become a graviton. You are trained uh, to facilitate conflict management practices, not only in the TEC community, but also in other communities. We also have legal working group that is led by Santi that is researching best practices uh, to offer a legal strategy for the TEC. So after looking into so many possibilities, uh, the legal working group submitted a proposal to use the Common Stack Swiss Association as a legal shield and protection uh, for the participants of the commons. So now we have clear steps to become a hatcher. And if you want to become a hatcher, which means initializing the commons being the first people that will um, uh, nurture this community, you can join the hatchers outreach with Eduardo, that is the working group that is taking care of onboarding hatchers and token engineering projects proposals. So we can have a very uh, well-scoped first cohort of proposals that will uh, be ready once the Commons is launched. We also have Transparency Working Group. That is amazing. You guys have to check out the TEC YouTube. Uh, Zeptimus and Ivy have been doing an incredible job of documentation. You can find all our videos there all our calls, and now they're already working on transparency audits that are um, looking into how transparent all the working groups are and all the initiatives that happen uh, in the TEC community to help the mutual accountability that is also an Austrian principle. We also have working group Omega that is led by Shepnin. Um, to, uh, to provide experiments for the token engineering community and eventually have an interface to moral philosophy for token engineers and research token engineers' intrinsic motivations. It is super fun. You should also join. And we have the TC Labs uh, that is being uh, championed by YGG. He is giving introductions to CAD CAD so how to visualize parameters, how to validate your design. Um, it's really cool. It's uh, if you're a beginner into coding with CAD CAD, he will help you a lot. And uh, the next lab is happening tomorrow with uh, guest speaker, Mark Miney. So you can join uh, every Friday at 5 p.m. CET. 
And we also have the TC parameters. So this is also something super exciting happening for the whole DAO ecosystem. That is uh, the first step towards breaking the technocracy of um, of the of only the developers making technical choices. So uh, the TEC parameter is being led by Jake, uh, and this is to provide an education to the community about tech decisions so everyone can propose their own parameters and then using token log we'll be able to pick one of them pick uh, a few of them that will go to then land DAO to be actually implemented um, in the comments and they're using the super cool graphs created by by ygg uh, and his crew that you can select what are the parameters you can play with them you can enter this website token engineering test and uh, play with them it's super fun and you will see how uh, the parameters play out to actually have a functioning commons and finally we have the community stewards working group so the community stewards are organ organizing all of the work happening so most of the working group leads are community stewards. And uh, this way we can ensure a fractal organization. So there's so much going on that we don't have the capacity to be in everything at the same time. So we have this group to synchronize about everything that is happening and, and make sure that things are flowing. Uh, so we also share temperature checks of the community. And we recently implemented a scrum process by the master Tamara who created the Zen Hub revolution. So before uh, we were stuck in this lava pit and she took us out and threw in this amazing roadmap that has uh, so many directions happening simultaneously, not that the initial uh, roadmap wasn't working. It was working super well until the complexity hit and we really needed um, organization to put all of the working groups and all of the simultaneous scopes uh, in one place to be able to follow towards the hatch that is planned to next month uh, to happen in a month or two. And this is all incredible. So we have to celebrate and I'm really happy to talk about the praise culture we have that is borrowed from the common stack. So members of the TEC can dish praise to each other. And um, we have created an amazing gratitude, gratitude culture where you can praise contributions of all kinds. And this is to make sure that everyone is being seen, that all the contributions are accounted and now we have 225 active contributors and three almost 4,000 impact hours that is so much beautiful work being done in the community so if you are a token engineering project working to accelerate open source and ethical design for token ecosystems get in touch to submit a proposal and you can have an elevator pitch in our community call that is happening right now actually um, every Thursday at 8 p.m. CET. And in the end of the call, we also we always have the token engineering spotlight where projects can share uh, what they are doing. And also here you can listen to all of the updates from the week from all the working groups. Um, so if you are interested in any of this amazing things happening in the TE ecosystem, I couldn't even mention them all, but you can join our forum that has so much great content. And in the welcome session, you can click on um, uh, add a calendar. So you can add the TE calendar to your calendar and get to know all the events happening. Um, thank you so much. Join, join our Discord and join the conversation.